and you can kind of look through it and see what they're ranking on and how they're getting the sales they're getting because they're not like top one two three on the giant keywords they're top one two three on a lot of these keywords guys I gotta grind, won't stop, hustle, won't quit, shine like no other, I be on some other shit, I got a high price lifestyle. Yo, what's going on Amazon Mafia family? It's your boy Bosco, or the Amazon Don here with another video. Today we're actually going to look at a way to kind of look at your competitors listing in whatever niche you're going to try to sell in. We're going to try to look at what they're doing. We're actually going to use a little bit of a formula here on Helium 10 to kind of hijack your competitors listing. Pull the information of what's making them successful with the keywords and how we can use it to make our listing or our product launch a little bit more successful. So we're just going to kind of dive in. My webcam's going to go to the side there and uh, we're going to get started here on Helium 10. Alright, so here we are again on our favorite product research tool. Obviously you guys probably know by now if you've seen some of my other videos that I love Helium 10. Um, I've used Helium 10, Jungle Scout, uh, Viral Launch, all of the above. Um, Helium 10, is, as you see here, has just so many different options, so many different tools that they offer. Uh, all on the same package, right? They're not additional prices for any of these tools, so it's all kind of in one spot, and uh, it's a little bit more than uh, some of the limited stuff that Jungle Scout and some of the other software tools offer. So today we're going to cover actually one of these tools, and if you don't have Helium 10 yet or you want to try it out, see what it's all about, um, as always, it's down in the description. I was able to get you guys a discount code, so it's 50% off uh, for your first month, or I think there's another option where it's 10% off for the whole year for every month. So whatever you guys prefer, um, if you have any questions about that or anything, feel free to leave a comment or uh, DM me on Instagram. But other than that, guys, we're going to get right into this. We're actually going to be using a tool called Cerebro today. As you see here, it's just a reverse ASIN lookup. So the ASIN is basically like the every listing on Amazon is an ASIN. It's like an identification number for each product. And that's basically what you're going to want to be using with the Cerebro here. So as you see here, you just enter in the product ASIN, and within seconds, you'll receive hundreds, maybe thousands of keyword suggestions, which is awesome, guys, because all we know... Well, most of us should know that uh, keywords are the most important thing on Amazon, in my opinion. Um, if there's a keyword that's being searched a lot of times and there's multiple keywords, uh, maybe tens, dozens, even hundreds sometimes of relevant keywords that all make sense for your product, uh, the more successful your product's going to be, the more ways there are going to be eyes on your product, right? More people searching different things, more people are going to be looking at your product potentially. So we're going to hop right into here to Cerebro. And sorry if I... Uh, have a little bit of water throughout this because uh, I actually just ran my first uh, 10k run today so that was interesting and I'm pretty tired so hopefully I can get through this video but uh, here we are guys this is actually a product that I found yesterday when I was doing some product research I kind of wish I was recording for it because it was a pretty uh, good product so if you're in the market for a product this is actually a pretty good one the uh, main keyword I found it under was car door opener kit so obviously kind of a weird product I don't know if people are storing these in their car in case their car gets locked out or they maybe own a company that does that but it's either that or people are out here buying this product to steal cars but regardless of what people are buying it for guys we're just going to kind of use this as an example um, to kind of show you how you can use the Cerebro tool to kind of find what your competitors are using and like how they're optimizing their listings with keywords right so we're going to go to Helium 10 here and I'm just going to show you like the profits for these products just so we can show that it's like a product that definitely has some potential as you see here, the review count is fairly low for a lot of these products. Um, the success score is kind of uh, not accurate here, guys, because I think there's some people listing under with like those electronic openers. That's why the average reviews are so high, but the actual kit itself is like these little tools, right? So it seems like they're relatively new to the market product. There's a lot of people doing big money. Um, 34 reviews, 16,000, 41 reviews, 32,000. Uh, 34 reviews, 21,000. It goes on and on. There's a guy with five reviews doing over $5,000. So definitely a successful product. Uh, we can pick any of these. It's not really a big deal. Um, I think a guy with 41 reviews doing $32,000 is awesome. So we're going to pull up his listing here. Um, actually, you don't even really have to do this. Um, the ASIN's always right here, guys. If you pull up someone's listing, if you have the Helium 10 tool open, you can also go back and you can just pull the ASIN right from the side here. There's a lot of options. It makes it pretty easy. But we're just going to pull it from here copy and paste and then you're going to move back the Cerebro tool here guys and copy and paste it so once that's pasted you click get keywords uh, you've searched this item before okay so I actually just do, did do a test run so this won't pop up for you guys um, I actually just made sure this was a searchable keyword thing earlier um, so I'm just going to load from history for you it'll just pop up the keywords like it's doing right now if you haven't searched it before um, so here you go here's the product that the ASIN you're looking for and there's a whole bunch of information here. It can be kind of overwhelming at first, guys. Um, you can match 
um, or new criteria rather for certain things like you wanted a minimum search volume um, IQ scores which is interesting uh, this is a score based on the ratio estimated search volume versus number of competing products all this stuff's good guys but you don't have to get super into it because um, I honestly just scrape these keywords and kind of optimize it with my PPC and make sure my copywriting in my item description and my bullet points matches all these freaking keywords that I want to get into so you can kind of sort up our organic sponsored Amazon recommended all that kind of stuff but for right now we're not really gonna do that this can be convenient when there's a lot of you see a lot of keywords are sponsored and you want to see like organic ranks for this product but right now we're just gonna leave it like this so it sorts it by the IQ score search volume all this stuff's all good information it's all important but the most important thing for me is the search volume guys um, stuff like car accessories for example very broad people go oh I'm gonna make sure I put car accessories in my um, all over my stuff and make sure I PPC it really hard and put it in my description bullet points all that car accessories guys is this really like when you're typing car accessories is this actually what you're looking for probably not you might have a couple people that do um, but with a search volume over 800,000 like the odds of most people coming through and even ranking on that is very low and as you see like they're ranked here 274 for car accessories so they're like on page 100 and like you're just not gonna get seen under that so you can kind of see what they're ranking on organic rank here on the side and you can filter all this by clicking it um, so it would filter like what they're ranked highest at but see a four here is really good and they're ranked under that for car tools which is awesome because 7,000 search volume that's amazing so you can kind of prioritize what this is searched by and then you can kind of click organic rank here for example that's what I'll do and look at all the stuff that they're organic ranked one for guys that's awesome um, even if these aren't high search volumes they're still number one rank so if someone if even 173 people a month type in car lockout kit or lockout car kit rather they're gonna be the first product shown so that's gonna yield a few sales right there just off of a small keyword people kind of underestimate how important the small keywords are if you can hit and make sure all these smaller keywords are in your listing you're way better off and even better so for PPC because you don't want to be spending a lot of money on PPC words that are high demand it's gonna cost you a lot and you're not gonna get a lot of conversion but if you can PPC a bunch of keywords that are 200, 500, 1,000 or less um, keywords or searches a month, you're going to be hitting a lot on PPC and it's going to cost you a little bit less money. And if you can optimize these in your listing, they'll all add up and you'll have thousands and thousands of searches. That doesn't mean you shouldn't um, use bigger keyword searches as well, 5,000, 10,000, um, because they're important, especially if it's like the main product keyword, right? Because this, so I found it under car door opener kit. So car door opener kit is definitely something you want to PPC under and definitely something you'd want in your title and in your description and your bullet points but not necessarily uh, the be all end all of product research here and ultimately launching your product right so as you see the search volume here all these are great because they're ranking so high on all of them one two 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 and you can kind of look through it and see what they're ranking on and how they're getting the sales they're getting because they're not like top one two three on the giant keywords they're top one two three on a lot of these keywords guys and these all add up, right? Emergency car lockout kit, a small one, but even those 18 people could be converting sales. So you gotta make sure that you're converting on as many of these as you can. Big easy lockout kit, 3,000 searches, they're fifth, that's awesome. They're right at the front, they're doing really well. So it's kind of self-explanatory to an extent, guys. You guys wanna be ranking on as many of these as possible, as this listing is. And you see they're hitting on a bunch, Slim Jim, Carter, Opener Kit, and what a lot of sellers do and a lot of sellers make the mistake of is they do their product research and they do it well like they find a product like this which is awesome but then they only look at what they've found it under they'll see car door opener kit and they'll just fixate on that and that's what they always search on Amazon and they won't really branch off into other things um, the most important thing you can do is try to rank on as many of these as you can so if you try to launch a product and you were just PPC car door opener kit and throwing a ton of money at that generic keyword and some of the bigger keywords and all your listing was just like title just about car door opener kit trying to repeat that as many times as you could throw it in all the bullet points you wouldn't necessarily be hitting you might but you're gonna have a way better chance hitting if you try to put all these keywords in your description optimize your SEO as best you can and ultimately just hit PPC and launch with as many of these keywords in mind as you can and I can't recommend this tool enough guys um, Cerebro is a lifesaver I've launched my product with Cerebro uh, when I'm doing my copywriting when I'm writing up my listing proofs um, that's what I always use it's super super successful and if you guys enjoyed this and kind of want to see 
a little bit more um, intricate work with this and maybe kind of how I build the listing from the back end. It's straightforward to the most point. You're just kind of writing in like a text box. Um, there's tutorials online, but I could kind of cover it if you guys wanted. If you like this kind of content and want to get into more moving product research into how to launch your product with Tools like Cerebro, please let me know in the comments section. If you guys did enjoy this video, um, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed because I'm going to try to drop two to three videos a week on Amazon. And uh, the Amazon Mafia is going to be going strong. Um, we have a Facebook group, so I think I'm going to put that link down there. It should be live by the time this video is live. Uh, we're going to kind of interact in the Facebook group. I might do a private Discord server and stuff later. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. But make sure to follow on Instagram. I always post content there. My TikTok. And I'm going to be trying to pump out these two to three videos, guys. I really want to build up a big community, help you guys with your Amazon journey, build your businesses up, and be able to be financially free and do something that you love for a living. So until next time, guys, this has been the Amazon Don or Bosco. I'm out. Peace.